guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my January favorites. It's not just beauty favorites, it's like all these random things that I love. I feel like I am the last person to jump on this bandwagon, and that is the Beauty Blender bandwagon. Pardon how dirty it is, I need to wash it, but basically, short and simple, you've probably heard about it, you've probably wondered, is it really worth $20? And the answer is yes. Next up, NYX Butter Lip Balm in the shade Brownie. I'm not really a lipstick girl because I don't like that it gets all faded. I don't like that I have to reapply. I don't like that I have to worry if it's all over my teeth. And you know, this is like tinted chapstick. Next up are two under eye concealers that I am really into. One is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. That's not in English. Um, in the shade, in the lightest shade, fair maybe? And it's just a little twisty and it looks like white. And then I have my LA Pro, wait, LA Girl Pro H. D high definition concealer conceal they put high definition and HD conceal and concealer and corrector there's a lot of things this one is in the shade natural which is I think the second lightest shade because they were out of the other one and I don't know if it's just me and I got a bad one or if I'm very weak but it's I feel like I'm going to break the tube when I push it that is my only con like I feel like to get anything out I'm like <laughs> And there it came. On days when I'm like, let's really get those eye bags out of here. Then I'll use this one. They're both good. I just mix them up because it's fun to be different. If you hang out with me at all in person, ever in your entire life, you've probably heard me talk about this. There are probably a lot of things going through your head right now because I probably talk about a lot of things. And let me just disclaimer. One, I know this is probably not the healthiest thing. Two, it's okay. It's this felty organic protein shake specifically in the flavor cappuccino. And this is why. I don't like coffee, but I wish I liked coffee, which is a very big issue in life. This is, in my mind, how coffee should taste. So it's mostly soy milk, which isn't that great for you, but it's still 11 grams of organic protein. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, 20% daily fiber, 6 grams of sugar, low glycemic, organic complex carbohydrates made of fresh organic soy milk, contains organic inulin, a prebiotic that provides fiber. Did I mention that I like this? Next up is a brand of nail polishes, which I also feel like everybody already knows about this, but I'm still gonna tell you that I like it so that it will just confirm, affirm, incur buy it. I really like Essie nail polishes. I have everything you need. The classic black in the shade licorice, I believe. Licorice. And then I have your classic nude in the shade don't sweater it. And then this fun blue shade in butler please. I'm really excited about this. Uh, it's like an incense burner. So it's the cutest in the world, little teepee. And I love it even more because it's from my second home in New Mexico. It's from Santa Fe. And it's so cute and it has all these wood smells. And there's a slight chance I might be allergic to some of them because I have an issue. Cute little guy. I'll put the link down below because you know you want one because it's so cute. Burner and 20 bricks of pinon incense made from navy. navy. You get it. One thing I've been liking, <laughs> J-Lo. My number one album of January 2015 has been Megan Trainor's new album because it's so good. I love like her doo y feel and she just is so fun and I've just been really happy this month, which I'm obviously very thankful for. And I've just been in this, I want to dance all the time mood and I don't want to listen to sad music and I just want to jam out in my car to Megan Trainer, and that's okay. This shirt that, I don't know if you can see, but it says, good vibes only, and it's from Mulberry, Mulberry Press 
company, I think. I'm like obsessed with this shirt. I wore it for four days the first week I got it. And then I put it in my laundry and I haven't done laundry since. So I pulled it out and wore it to church yesterday and slept in it. And then now I wore it this morning to the DMV and now I'm still wearing it. So that's how much I love it. My last favorite, which is a TV show. And to be honest, I feel like if I share my favorite things, everyone else should share their favorite thing. Two, I'm really upset that nobody shared with me how great this show is and I had to find out by myself, like a freaking peasant. And that would be Bob's Burgers. I'm obsessed, like full body obsessed. And it's so funny, and Tina's my spirit animal, and I just love it. A bonus favorite, I joined a new church this month, and I've met a lot of really great people, and they've all been so supportive of me being a YouTuber, and it's been super fun to share that with them, and I told them I would give them a shout out. So I love you guys, and I'm so excited to do life with you and to be friends with you, and I am just very thankful, and y'all are all favorites. This weekend, on Friday, I'm going to Georgia to visit a friend and a bunch of people, and so I'm really excited, and I'm probably gonna vlog my trip, because why not? That sounds like, hashtag that feeling when your camera dies and you can't see it because the screen's on the other side, and it's really annoying. I love watching vlogs. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm such a nosy person and I just love to see the inside details of everybody's life. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and your family and your dogs and your friends and your cousins and your friends and your cousins. And I love you all and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Your cleansing towel up. Oops. So pretty much I just rub the crap out of my face.